Hey fellow gamers, Chetty Sisa here. Welcome back to the next part of my first ever playthrough of Mass Effect Andromeda. In this one we are still jumping across the planets and fulfilling the last tasks and missions, but we also have one important update which is finally unlocking the memory, the last one, uh, which uh, Ryder's dad has left us and it's in the same note. And also we'll finally find out a little bit more about the fate of the Milky Way which we left behind. So so this one is full of interesting information and I hope you're going to have fun watching it. And on this spot I just wanted to mention please if you like this video or if you like this series don't forget to hit that like button and give me a comment. Uh, it is really much appreciated and very helpful for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks a lot. Uh. Good, so what do we have? What would be the easiest thing to do currently? I think we could Go to Haval, we haven't been there for quite some time. Runs in the family, yeah, let's land there. Mm, yeah, we have to take Jal, that, that much is sure. So let me switch PB for Jal. And then, well, let's take Vetra. Ah, the views are really nice here. Okay, let me check the map. Where is the marker? So it's in the research station. Okay, let me fast travel. <laughs> it's not so far, but yeah. <laughs> ah, okay, so we'll be using the shuttle. Jal! Jal! <laughs> oh. Wait, is that bad news? No, the Pathfinder is interested in where I grew up. <laughs> That's not a nice Rider, first question. <laughs> this is my true mother, Sahuna Amadarao. Ah, uh, yeah, let me quickly react, I almost nice missed it. Nice to meet you. I know Angara liked the hugging. Yeah, Jal what was me that facial expression? You. Really? He's my favorite. Smart, loyal, kind. A great shot. Writes poetry, souls. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> I'm late okay. for a resistance meeting. Stay clear. Your mother's in the resistance? <laughs> yes. And every child is her favorite. <laughs> okay. Everyone. This is Seth. Hi. Okay, so the entire family is there. Look who the car can drag in. Welcome back. This is where I spent most of my days growing up. Me, my sister, Kwana, our cousin, Etta, and brother, Finn. Then Bavezil, Rolu. So wonderful to Ejal, have you back. A human. Jal, okay, my, my head would explode if I would us. be there. Wow, cozy. <laughs> we like to live like this. Gonna give your friends some real food? Good to see you. And here's my room. My tiny sanctuary. Yeah, home is home, I guess. <laughs> we have a saying that I like. Home is where the heart is. <laughs> I like that. Oh, no. Who put this here? Schematics of... When I was seven, my aunt stole a cat weapon for me. So I took it apart to learn. And that is, was a carkin. Pet carkin. <laughs> All fit. He died. So I also took him apart. Oh, to good lord. learn? Why not? Mm-hmm. I never show people these things, but I feel like we're family. Yeah, I'm honored. It's been good getting to know you. Hey, there's one more thing you might like. Sit there. Been interesting so far. <laughs> With that many family members. Oh, that's nice. 
Nice. You made that? Long ago. It's not accurate. More of a dream, really. Just yeah, it looks one great. more thing I want to take apart and figure out. Me too, Jal. Me too. <laughs> that would be nice to have something like this fall asleep while this is on the ceiling. Ah. Nice idea. Okay, so that one is done. And I don't see anything else here on the map, but the map has so many layers. Good. Yeah, let's go then to the next task. So what else do we have? Additional tasks? Aya. Yeah, let me go to Aya. Just have to return to our ship. Yeah, let me see if the scientists have something to say. Your favorite pathfinder. Favorite? <laughs> you haven't met that many. <laughs> Good. Hi, next. Welcome back. <laughs> and we're off again. <laughs> yeah, movie night, the right setup. Ah, so we also have to do that one. Okay. And it doesn't seem to be that far away. Let me check the map. And we have the witnesses in three different spots. And then we have also here the between the merchants the, the other stuff that we need to do. So let me go for the first one. I'll probably just walk around. Yeah. Okay, there's the first person we need to talk to. The Moshe said you remember when the Ket arrived. My father's oldest friend was chosen to be Volt's ambassador to the Ket. The day he left, they embraced as brothers. All the Ket sent back was his badge. And a whole recording I wasn't allowed to watch. I was too young mm -hmm. to understand why everyone was scared. Why my father mourned for months. <sighs> Must have been scared I can imagine too. how terrifying that was for a child. What frightened me was seeing how helpless my parents felt. All our leaders were confused and fearful. The terror made us hesitate. Mm. That's when the cat struck. They'll try the same with you. Be ready. Okay, so that was the first one. We're gathering some more information on the cat, that's good. Okay, there's the next one. I wish I said you'd want to hear my experience with the cat, to learn from it. I do. Tell me about it. They had just arrived. I was on a civilian shuttle to vault when we received a message. The spaceport was on lockdown. Security concerns due to the cat. We were supposed to land on a nearby moon and wait for the all clear. Instead of landing, the shuttle captain turned back. Something felt wrong, he said. Mm -hmm. Later we learned it was a cat transmission to isolate us for capture. The captain had saved our lives. Mm, yeah. Good gut feeling. You must have been young. Um, yeah, that must have been quite some, some time ago. You can't have been more than a child when that happened. I was old enough to know life would never be the same. Okay, and before we leave the area, let me try to find this merchant, I think, to whom we need to talk to. Should be this one, no? No trouble, I see. Good. Um No, this one sells stuff that we can get elsewhere. We need to talk to this one. Alright. Something I can do for you? Goods. You won't walk away uh, what? Uh, okay. I'll get moving. Which one is it then? It is this one. Welcome. 
Okay, let me go through the whole shop. Vit components. Ankara electrodermal transmission. Com oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, okay. Okay, return the components to Jal on the Tempest. Yeah, that's for the movie night. Good, so we've got that one as well. Let me proceed to the last witness we need to talk to. Shall I try to have a drink with Jack? These Angara are stronger than they look. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Getting into trouble, Drac? Do I need to keep you on the ship? <laughs> Not what I meant. Just thinking it can't be easy to be Angara under the cat's boot. Old Krogan like me can relate. Okay. Nothing bad going on, all right. <laughs> okay, that's the last one. The Moshe I said we should speak. You remember the Ket's arrival? One of them came to our city on a Val to offer lavish gifts. We lined up along the street to watch the alien walk with our ambassador. As it passed, it stopped and knelt in front of me. I still dream of what it said. Young one, you are meant for greatness. Mm-hmm. No wonder I wasn't welcome yet. <laughs> it sounded really similar. Now I know why my arrival had everyone on edge. Yeah. When I saw you walk with Paran through our city, I hoped that the guards would kill you. I will never trust outsiders again. Yeah, it's so understandable. Okay, so we've got all those. Let me check the journal again. Good, what do we have? Speak to the leaders on the Nexus. Allies and relationships. This one is on hold. Meet Gil and Jill uh, on Eos. Yeah, we have to go to Eos. Eos. Kadara. Eos. Let's do a quick trip to Kadara and then to Eos, I would say. I think we can fast travel somewhere here. Yeah. And let's go back to the Tempest. Welcome back. Good, we have everything here. And we need to take Vetra with us, definitely. Yeah, the architect husk is still here. <laughs> yeah, I need to switch my companions, definitely. Let me check if we have something here. And it's not on the map. Okay, there is Jal. What's Jal doing over there? Ah, yeah, we have a new ruler of the port. Okay, so we have Vetra here. Liam, Drak, Cora, and Jal. Let me see if I can talk to them here. Okay, Vetra is somewhere here. Here, asshole. This stuff's mine. Be careful, Ryder. I know you think you've got an ally in the charlatan, but he's already lied to you once. Yes, I know. Oh, I'm definitely keeping an eye on Kadara politics. I'm not going to be used or blindsided. Good to hear. Anything you need, just holler. Okay, let me see if there is somebody upstairs. Um, nope, it doesn't look that way. Good, I think. Um, oh, no, oh, Bibi is here. I wanted to say he's, <laughs> she's probably not really, here. But your breath blew it. Hey, Ryder. Since you made nice with the powers that be here, I'm fielding a lot less animosity from the average outlaw. <laughs> average outlaw. <laughs> I 
Are you behaving? <laughs> How much animosity are you dishing out? Oh, you know me. If I don't get into scrapes here and there, I get antsy. <laughs> okay. I think we should uh, look into the bar here. It's a little bit empty now. Okay, is is that a Krogan? Yeah, that's a Krogan. Okay, <laughs> let me talk to Drak. <laughs> that fight was a riot, huh? He could totally kill us. <laughs> Somehow we aren't banned. <laughs> I'm surprised they let us back in here. Are you kidding? We're legends now. Umi should let us drink for free. I don't think so. She will not do that. <laughs> Oh, we can ask about Reyes. Mm -hmm. So Reyes was the charlatan. He fooled everyone. Hard to trust a guy like that, but then I don't have to. Mm. Yeah. I agree with you, Drac. We'll see. There was somebody else here, I think. Oh, Liam. Next, the charlatan takes control and everything is... Pretty much the same, looks like. Stability was the goal, and allies. Well, I have a bar full of allies, as long as I'm <laughs> buying. Sounds like diplomacy to me. <laughs> yeah, but it will cost you as hell. <laughs> okay, let me talk to I Umi. Drink. What can I get you? Yeah, never mind. Okay, we're not going Actually, to. Actually, I'm okay. Whatever. Drink. Okay, I, I thought there is an. A discussion option. It's not. Okay, so no hard feelings because of the bar fight. Good. Who else was here? There is Cora and then Jal. Okay. And where is she? Am I blind? Ah, okay. Hiding behind crates. Something smells tasty. You're not on nomad guard duty? No need. Words got around. <laughs> guard how duty. Kadara will change now that Reyes is running the show. Um... Everyone gets code names they want peace. Yeah, I, I will go with this one. I think Raised he to does to keep the peace. want Hopefully peace. Yeah. He'll follow through. That's why he said he took Kadara after some lying and murdering. We can't forget what he is. Uh, yeah, um, it's the lying part that got me so pissed. Okay, Please there. Some Angara, which are guarding it here. Whoa, what a sound. And let me visit this room. Hmm. Okay, there is Jal, but let me talk to the new lady in charge. Pathfinder, it's good to see you again. N nice chair. <laughs> nah, you as well. Likewise, Kima. If you're looking for the charlatan, he's not here. We agreed it would be mutually beneficial if I was the face of Kadara Port. Oh, oh, we have a ton of points we can talk about. Yeah, let's start with this one. <laughs> The outcasts have disappeared from the port. Not completely. Kytus is still moaning in the holding cells. But the others Ouch. are scattered. I'm told there's still plenty in the Badlands. Watch your back. Many blame you for Sloane's death. Which would be technically correct. Was it always the plan for you to take Sloane's place? It was a requirement for my cooperation, yes. 
Ah, As Lone Zangara okay. representative, I had more access to the outcasts than the average Kadara citizen. Also, I could rally the Angara to the collective side. Yeah, it was a wise move to make a deal with her then. I take it you know the charlatan's true identity. I'm one of the select few. Mm -hmm. I told him one to tell of you earlier, but he worried about what you'd think. It was adorable, really. Uh-huh, yeah. He should have done that. How's the mood in Kadara since Sloane's death? I doubt we'll ever achieve unanimous approval, but my people are happy to be under Angaran rule again. Sloan made a lot of enemies, even among your people. It's a welcome change. Yeah, you're not I think so. People think you're a figurehead for the charlatan. My ass does more than just sit in this chair. The charlatan <laughs> listens to me more than Sloan ever did. Okay, so basically they are both ruling. What will you do with Kytus? The safest option is to execute him. But the charlatan thinks he's worth something. Oh? He was Sloane's confidant. The charlatan won't kill him until he's learned every dirty secret. Yeah, that's... something I would understand. Question is, like, how they want to get all this information. Okay. I should be going. See you soon, Pathfinder. And let's talk to Jal. You were right, Ryder. Now that the political conflict is resolved, Gadara Port is growing on me. Growing like the searing pain of an infected flesh wound. <laughs> ah, that was something I was expecting or something similar. Can we talk to Kaitos? Okay, not not here. It ah yeah, the cells are here on this side. Well, the door is not locked. Hmm. Okay, we can talk to him. Interesting. Sloan should have killed you the day we met. Um, yeah, your anger is misplaced. Don't blame me. Sloan agreed to the duel. <laughs> the duel? I know what happened. The sniper who pulled the trigger rubbed it in my face when he locked me up. You were there. You could have saved her, but you didn't. Why? Uh, it was the right choice, yeah. Sloan made it clear she would never forgive the Nexus. How soon do you think she'd have declared war on the initiative? Not soon enough, apparently. Mm -hmm. You better hope the charlatan kills me, Ryder, because if I ever get out of here... Goodbye, Kytus. Yeah, n nice of you to tell me. I will keep that in mind for sure. Uh, there was a terminal. There's one more room here. Did we check this one out? Yeah, there's not really... Anything that we could scan. Let me see that terminal. Yeah, okay, so that's the old stuff. Good. We probably need to go planet side then, or downstairs. I'm not sure how to put it. Oh, sh shall we talk to called Dalton need something okay so there is nothing new that we could say thanks for your time <sighs> back to work it would have been fun if he would remind Ryder of the promise <laughs> okay transit console and we need to take lift to the slums and definitely we need to take Vetra so Vetra's in the party and Jal. Let me switch Jal again for someone else. Mm, um, Vetra and Liam. Okay, confirm. Kadara slums. Do we have something here? 
No, we don't. I think we should probably pay a visit to the grey eminence of the Kadara port. The true ruler hiding in here somewhere. Okay, so I think we can talk. Thanks for being my plus one. I had a great time. Mm. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Me too. Been a while since I had a partner in crime. All right, we can talk about a ton of stuff. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's ask all the questions. The outcasts have scattered. That's what happens when you cut the head off the snake. With Sloan and Kytus out of the picture, they're disorganized. Weak. Yeah, Kytus is still there. Speaking of Kytus, what are your plans for him? I hope he can become an asset, but he's proven stubborn. Yes. Uh, yeah, he's too loyal to Sloan. He'll never forgive you. Or me, for Sloane's death. Pity. He had promise. Yeah, but it wouldn't be safe, I think, to let him live under these circumstances, not after what he just said. How did you become the charlatan? I never set out to be the charlatan. But I couldn't openly work against Sloane. So I hired other people representatives to pose as me <laughs> representatives. recruiting exiles and giving orders the locals started calling them charlatans because they were never who they claimed to be and the name stuck. <laughs> okay <laughs> all right yeah working with the resistance does the resistance know who you really are no but i doubt Ephra would care he's a results man the secrecy around my identity isn't malicious, Ryder. It's so I can operate freely. Yeah, that's... That's a good benefit, yeah. I can understand that. Yeah, he can walk around and, and plan and... You know, talk to people and do whatever he needs to do without all eyes being on him, so yeah. I better get going. Thanks for stopping by. Not a bad plan, not bad how he did it, but still, yeah. I just can't get over the fact that he wasn't telling up front what's going to happen or didn't trust Ryder. Good, and I think we should have a look at the map. And we need to go to this spot. And I think we can use this forward station. That will be the fastest. Alright, we are here and <laughs> the nomad is sliding down. Leaving without us. And there's again some people whom we need to shoot. Alright. Hmm. I think there is nothing else here. We've been here already a couple of times and every time there are some new enemies. And where do we need to go? Yeah, of course I'm going in the wrong direction. <laughs> okay. So typical, especially on this one. Yeah, over there. On this one forward station, it happens all the time. Oh, oh, and ouch. This is it. Okay. Can't wait till you see the view. Yeah, I would love to see the view, but without this blue thing over there. <laughs> okay, let me get out. Let me hide. <laughs> I 
You were right. The view is great from up here. We're not even to the top yet. Come on, I'll race you. A race? Up this cliff? Let's talk more climb. Let's go, Pathfinder. <laughs> okay, so they went climbing. And no jump jets. No one likes a cheat. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't fair. You're taller. You have reach. Staying within your limits is no fun, Ryder. That was some crazy idea. Nah. <laughs> no. We could have used the nomad to climb up. <laughs> Okay, I want to know where they are now. Having fun? Doesn't See, look that way. Not fair. <laughs> wow. It's all going to be like this, huh? No. Better. For 14 months, I wondered if I'd made a mistake coming here and dragging my sister with me. I don't wonder anymore. Boarding the Tempest that day was the best decision I ever made. Yeah, if, if from what she told me, it was. I'm glad you came aboard too. It wouldn't have been the same without you. Yeah, we don't really see that much of the view because it's too bright. <laughs> Are we able to see something now? Yeah, the blue thing there. Ah, I don't like the sounds these things are doing. Okay. Good. Anything else here on the map? No? I don't think so. Good. How about we go back to the ship then? Welcome back. Okay. Good journal. Return the components to Jal on the Tempest. We should probably do that. Ah, you acquired the components? Yes. I'm looking forward to seeing what you and Gil put together. He's very gifted. If, when we succeed, more of your people can the experience correction. our stories as they are meant to be enjoyed. Goda Tavitara. The Lulia Reborn Trilogy. I'm weeping a bit already. <laughs> okay. Good, so we have that one. Yeah, let's go to the galaxy map then. Suvi, that woman on the Nexus, she's a widow of one of my pilots. The people you were training to explore the Scourge? Zoe's wife was lost out there. For a fellow pilot, one does the right thing. Like making sure her widow has got enough credits. It's the least I can do. The most is conquering the Scourge once and for all. Uh, okay, so that's where all his credits are going. He's trying to help. Now orbiting Kadara. Okay, there is one last uh, system in the cluster that is at zero percent. So let me check that one out. Very little signal traffic around. It's pretty remote. I wonder what view of the Milky Way you'd get out here. Huh? That's a good idea. Okay. Anomaly detected. So there is. Oh, oh, there is something. What is it? Deploying probe. Anomaly An found. asteroid. Okay. It's quite big, actually. 
Fragments of remnant technology are buried on this asteroid, nearly unrecognizable after centuries of disuse. Alright. Some XP points. Anomaly on sensors. Again. Ah, okay. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Another one. Oh, nice. Good. Okay. Let's check out the planets. On sensors. Again? All right. Probe away. It's all in the belt. From the asteroid belt. Starship wreckage. Yeah, not much left. This appears to be the wreckage of a cat dropship. Perhaps they were seeking remnant technology in the asteroid belt. And we do have something. Okay, a any other anomaly? Okay, D doesn't look that way. <laughs> Service from the Milky Way suggested uh, this planet might contain vast mineral wealth just beneath its surface. On closer examination, no such deposits exist. Let me have a look at... What? The, this one? Okay. 22 atmospheres. Ugh, okay. Quite a high temperature. Yeah, so there are some microbial life forms. And I think that's the last one. Oh yeah, this one, the planet. Yeah, frozen ammonia and not much else. <laughs> okay. And there is still one more. Ah, so it's here. That's on the very edge. And it has a high surface temperature for being so far out. Atmospheric pressure 21 point something. Named for an early Angaran explorer who perished in Biloon's surface, this rocky world commands a quiet respect from the Angaran people. Hmm. And I think that's it. Alright, so yeah, let's go to Eos. And I think we need to take Korra, at least for one of the tasks. And there was somebody else. And I don't remember who. Yeah, let's land first. <laughs> Ah, Gil. Yeah, but I cannot take Gil with me, so probably we'll have to meet him over there. So Cora and... Mm, it doesn't matter who else, okay. Alright, so let me switch um, Liam for Cora and Vetra. Yeah, I think Cora wasn't so often... Uh, on missions with Jal. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Okay. Let me check out the map. And we have... Something very close by, which is the meeting with Gil. So let me do that one first and then we can... Locate the source of the signal on EOS. And here we have Cora's task. Hmm. Good. Yeah, let's go and meet Guild then. And it's over there. There's the mayor standing outside, and there's Gil.
I'm good. You're here. Yeah, so listen. She's only got a minute or two, and she's in rare form today. Just to warn you. She's here rare keep starting form? repopulation protocols, reversing the chemical procreation blockers for colonists. Calls it boosting the batter. She's gonna try and get you to do it. Yeah. <sighs> Not happening. I'll be exercising my Pathfinder's prerogative on that one. Tell me about <laughs> it. I mean, makes no never mind to me. No chance I'll ever oops a baby into the world. Am I interrupting something? Ah, Jill. About time. This is... Save it. I asked you both to stop by, remember? Ryder, pleasure. I know we're all very busy, so I have only one question for you. Mm. Ask away. Sure, go ahead. What the hell did you do to him? It's like he's an adult or something. <laughs> he can even have a mature conversation without it degrading into pot shots. Unless I take it there. What's your secret? Uh, it's all Gil. I have nothing to do with it. It's all him. I call bullshit on that. It's definitely your influence. Something. Maybe all these years you thought you knew me, you were sadly mistaken. You wish. Okay, you're both off the hook. So glad I got to meet you, Ryder. Okay, and that Likewise. was the whole meeting. That was a strange meeting, to be honest. Okay. Good, next. And the next thing is... Locate the source of the signal on EOS, or this one. Mm, let's go over here. And I think we can use this forward station. At least I'm hoping so. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll see. Mm, and... Uh, okay. The cat are flying in and out still. Okay. Yeah, we need to go over there, somewhere. So we are at the wrong spot. Wrong. Past. Trouble. Spot. Alright, hmm. Good, how about we use this one then? A difficult start. It's admirable you kept trying. Okay, that's the side one. Let's go into the nomad. Ah, the memories when I tried to drive around the first time here. <laughs> Damn. Here they come! Yeah, let's ignore the little bugs for now. Heads up, looks like a cat construct. Yeah, and there are quite a few of them. Let me hide behind the truck. Ouch! That was good. There's an annoying anointed. Good, and they are behaving as if there would be still somebody else. Um. Ah, yeah. Oh, look. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that wasn't much of a great shot. It was quite easy. Good, let me see what we have here. There is not much that we can do. And we need to go down. Hmm. Sh shall we? Or shall I rather drive? I think driving might be better, even if it's like downhill like this. Okay. 
See, past shortcut. <laughs> Oh, again? What are they shooting at? Got them all. These bugs? We're not are you scared of the bugs, Joel? I'll probably switch. Oh, good lord, so it's down here. Uh, okay, L let me drive. This is the place. Ready? Ready for what? Can I just save now? I'm being attacked, so I can't. Good work. All right, meet Cora. So where's your mystery project? Not far. Soil converter. No remnant terraformer, but it makes sandy dirt into something useful. Eventually. Eventually. That seeds, some rain. And you've got a garden. It won't bloom for years. This is your dream? Yeah, let's go with that one. That's right. You wanted a garden of your own. It'll take years. I might not even see it. But that's okay. Asari think in centuries. Lay a foundation, then step away. Let it grow into something you might never expect. Pathfinder training was my foundation. Gave me a whole galaxy of directions I could go. I don't need someone else's plan. Just a good beginning. The first seeds of a garden. One I started with my friend. <laughs> I'm not dressed for gardening. <laughs> yeah, let's go with what are we planting. What seeds do you have? Desert flowers and grasses from across the Milky Way. Colors we don't even have names for. When they've prepared the ground. Roses. Someday. Oof, yeah, that will take some time for sure. Ready? One. Two. Not the best idea if you have something which is relatively rare, but all right. Good, so we have that one as well. And we need to... What are their bugs again? We need to go to the last spot, I think. And that is the... Signal on heels of the cat. Yeah, and it might be best to use this forward station. And uh, where do we need to go? Over there. Mm hmm. Good. Let me save. And yeah, I think we need to. Use the nomad, definitely. But it's pointing down, so I'm wondering. Gora. What do you do for fun? You've seen my plants. Hmm. I'm beginning to suspect that the Angaran word for fun doesn't translate well. <laughs> okay. Uh, how far down there is it? Is it somewhere beneath us? Oh yeah, that will be... That will be probably the case. Hmm. This is also still marked as unfinished. 
Okay, yeah, that's because I missed the container here, but I don't think it has anything to do with the source of the signal. Oh, come on. Okay, now it's finished. So we need to go down. Ah, okay, I have an idea. We probably should... Use the forward station, which is here below us. And if I remember correctly, there's like a cave through which we can drive. Mm, might be somewhere there. Yeah, the, there's the cave over there. So it might be somewhere here. I was wondering like why it's constantly pointing down the marker. Yeah, it's here. Signs of cat still linger. There's no getting rid of them. Mm-hmm. But only signs, right? I don't see any enemies on the map. And the signal is coming from over there. Let's go to that side. This is the nav point Suvi gave us, but there's nothing here. Just this beacon. They're being careful. Speaking out against the Archon will have consequences. The true location of the transmission will be hidden. Scan the relay to track down source of the signal. I have located another node on this network. Updating your Omni tool with the information. All right. Can we see it? Yes, we can. And again, we need to probably move to this forward station. And I'm wondering if the signal will be like on top of us. Let me set up a marker somewhere close by and let me just use the forward station. And it says it's up. Yeah, we have to get there somehow. I am wondering if we can do it from this side. not so sure I think we had trouble to get there from this side when I wanted to go up yeah I think we need to go the other way around and we need to try it uh, actually over there yeah this was the way how I was climbing up Pathfinder, I detect a cap camp ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can already see them. Incoming cat. At least we have some fun. Ah, the annoying annoying teeth. No clue what happens behind my back, but I hope that those two are, are taking care of it. A chosen whom I cannot really see, okay. Ah! Ah, that was also this guy they love to hide. I don't think we will find anything new here. Ah! There is a container. That's nice, at least something. Good, and I believe some remains. 
And let me try to get over there. There are two dots. So there will be two. Oh, yeah, two remnant bots. But it's not the spot where we need to go. Something must be in those scourge ruins. I think we have already checked them out. Let me scan. Okay, another container. It's a nice thing to find, but not really something that would be so important. Hmm. Where is this thing? Okay, that's not the way forward. And, 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 it looks good, it looks good. Okay, we are coming closer. Is it somewhere here? Oh yeah. Okay, there are some raves. And this is like in a bubble. I think we need to disable it. Can I just simply walk in? No, I cannot. Okay, so there's a generator and one of these things. Nicely visible on the scanner. Ouch! Okay. Let's see where this beacon leads us. And, uh... Okay, I need to scan this one. I have located another node on this network. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? There's always free locations. Good. Let's check out the location. And it is... Somewhere very far away from the nearest... Forward station. Mm-hmm. Which one? Let me use this one. Alright. Yeah, I don't need to scan it. And let me set up a marker. Just in case you are hearing some weird noises. That's the pets that have zoomies. Apologies for that. Good. I think it would be ideal to go in a straight line towards the marker. Which is over there. Alright. Straight line and hopefully no fins or anything else. Rock signal comes and goes. You've evened out the weather, but I wouldn't call reception clear. Eel still feels frontier. Plain, but not tame, we like to say. Oh, we have to go down there. All right. There's my marker, but where is that signal? Ah! I'm very nicely hidden behind these rocks. But I, I think I'm having a replenished ammo. Which should be good. Let me just um, switch to the right weapon. Oopsie! How come you are here? Looks okay. like 
Okay. Let's see what this beacon has for us. And I think we're good to go towards that beacon. Yeah, that one popped up there out of nowhere. <laughs> Haven't even noticed him coming closer. And there's the generator. And I hope this was not just an elaborate ruse. Pathfinder, I have located another node on this network. Are Updates you serious? With the information. All right, map. And uh, basically, we have to go back to the forward station where we have been. <laughs> okay. Good, let me set up a waypoint again and let's uh, fast travel. And uh, back to the nomad. <laughs> That's a lot of uh, driving around and fast traveling. Hmm. Is it that thing above us? It looks that way. Yeah. It will be up there. And can we get there from here? I think we should be able. Yeah. There's also a hidden cache. As I climb, it feels like there's so much more out there. The black the transmission is strong and unobstructed here, Pathfinder. Mm -hmm. Looks like we found mm -hmm. it then. There are some bots as well. Let me get a little bit closer. Oh, look who's coming. Yeah, they're fighting me and the bots at the same time. And I am taking some damage as well. They are all dead. Good, let me quickly check the area. Okay, <laughs> both jumped in. <laughs> uh, there are some remains and that's about it. And I don't think it's anything over here. I think we need to really go to that building over there. Let me get some more ammo. And uh, yeah, because I don't trust things, let me pull out the gun. Oh god lord, that's dark. Dialogue. Exaltation lifted our ancestors out of sorrow and tribulation. This noble gift now allows us to raise others and share in the genetic bounty of this galaxy. But the Archon mm. would selfishly hoard what Helios has to offer. Recorded messages? A sermon meant to inspire the Ket? Yeah, it did sound like that. There's a console. Well, we found it. This looks like a comm console. It's probably what's sending out the messages. All that work, and this is all we get? And so you have found me. You are a single-minded creature, Pathfinder. I see it now. Your determination will grant the Ket dominion over this galaxy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, uh, need to get rid of them because they both want the same thing, technically, so yeah. 
That's not in our genes. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Not on my watch, asshole. This posturing benefits no one. Our confrontation is inevitable, not imminent. I did not reveal myself as a traitor easily. I did so only because I seek a mutual benefit. Getting rid of the Archon. The Archon's obsession with the Remnant incites chaos and endangers all we've worked for. This must end. Chaos sounds good to me. And you want my help? Um, obviously, otherwise we wouldn't be lured in here. I take it you need my help for this? I am Ket. I do not need help. I would mm -hmm. use you as a tool to hasten the Archon's destruction. I need only ensure nothing stands between you and your target. Once he is cut down, the Remnant will cease to be a concern. We will complete our purpose here and leave. Yeah, exaltation. One day you will be family. Till then, fight if you must. But I offer a reprieve from this conflict, so you can destroy a mutual enemy. It'll give us an ace in our back pocket. Just make sure the gun's loaded when we use it. The Ket cannot be trusted. Ryder, think. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah, let's ask about the motives. Why do you oppose the Archon? The Archon says he will use Meridian to dominate this cluster. He says Meridian will bring us victory. We have never needed Remnant to be victorious. No, he wants more. His ambition is plain. I am not alone in this thought. Mm-hmm. What exactly do I get from this deal? Sometime soon, I will be called upon by the Archon to destroy you. When that time arrives, I will provide you with the means to disable my ship. Or you could just leave me alone. And should you fail to bring down the Archon, my treachery will be exposed. Get manipulation at its finest. Yeah, yeah. Um... I think I'm going to listen to Jal in this one. The cat cannot be trusted. Nah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that. I guess it will make all the fights harder going forward, but... Um, yeah. Mm -mm. Nah, no deal. We don't deal with cat ever. So be it. I hope you found some satisfaction chasing my messages. You will gain nothing else from this. I bid you goodbye, Pathfinder. We will not speak again. Yeah, we'll have to kill you all anyway, so... That, that, what, what good is like a deal like that? Like, uh, yeah, I'm not going to kill you immediately, I'm going to kill you later. But, <laughs> come on. No. Could let me... Get out of here. Let me see if there is something else on the map. And there isn't, so... I think we should go back to the Tempest, but let me check out the journal. Yeah, we need to go back to the Nexus, Tempest and Nexus. And then hopefully just towards the end of this game. <laughs> it has taken quite some time. Good. Rider. Rider. <laughs> I like how Carlos says that. Good. Next stop. Nexus. And there we are. Yeah, we have done the main task only, the journey to Meridian. So let me dock. Good. Let's check out the news first. <laughs> What's new here on this terminal? Initiative Arms Outlaws. A major scandal surfaces implicating Nexus Brass. HNS has learned Nexus leaders quietly armed a group of outlaws calling themselves the Free Sabers. The group was contracted to fight for the initiative, but went rogue and turned their weapons on supply vessels and even Angara. Initiative Director Jaron Tan has denied all requests for comment. I don't think he's the right person to comment on that, right? 
And we need to find hey, the... Ryder, I've got news about Kerry. Producer, so that's probably the person we need to talk to. Hakeem, Kerry's producer. Mm -hmm. I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. <laughs> There's a hitch. <laughs> Kerry's been arrested for conspiracy to incite unrest. Oh, you don't She's say. cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. Okay, Remember, we don't have to down in the militia cells. go that she far. Love a visit. Yeah, let's visit her, definitely. And yeah, we don't have to go that far. <laughs> oh, hey Ryder. Hakeem said they arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. Ah, uh, yeah, come on, you did nothing wrong. You had to tell the truth, whatever the cost. You did what was right. You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. Uh, yeah, this is history too. Imprisoning a vidmaker for her work seems historic. Too bad no one recorded it. <laughs> they took my camera, but I was scribbling a few notes. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. On hold, wait for Carrie's next interview slot, okay? <laughs> so they will obviously release her when she gets another interview slot. Yeah. Let me check on the map if we have something here yeah we need to speak to the leaders on the nexus and how about the rest of the map mm, nothing else okay so i guess let's talk to them hello again they're waiting for you careful of course you approve. Ryder saved your people. Ryder saved our people. It doesn't matter if they were Salarians. They were citizens of the Initiative. But it doesn't hurt if there's a few less Krogan around, does it? Oh no, uh, that again. The Pathfinder. Ryder, we were discussing how things ended with the Archon. Yeah, I'm sorry about the Krogan. I did what I had to. Mm, I think I did apologize already quite a bit. Let, let's go if I did what I had to. There was no time to save both. I had to make a decision. You've already done your part for us. That's more than I can say for others. Yet I have to question what we gained provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault this on is an alien. suggests that Meridian is the key. <laughs> okay. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. Mm. Yeah, the fight is coming anyway. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I'm grateful, Ryder, but I can't support your plan. Then I will. Yeah, without it, we and so will wouldn't I. be where we are. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go with that one. Feeling threatened? What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. Pathfinder initiative. Why <laughs> Maybe it should. I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your brother is awake. What? Oh. Go. We'll talk later in the tech lab. Oh. Okay. 
Uh, end of the game and finally we get to talk to him. Scott. You lied about Dad. You told me he was alive. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I, Why? Understandable that he's going to be angry. It was too hard to tell you for the sake of your health. Yeah, for the sake of your health. I didn't know what it might do to you. I couldn't risk hurting your recovery. Well, it's hurting pretty bad right now. I know. Yeah. This was never going to be easy, Scott. But I hoped I could be here to make it better. Come here. It's just you and me now, sis. I know. But Mom and Dad believed in us. We can do this. What's this rumor I'm hearing? You're the Pathfinder. <laughs> rumor. That's part of it. Yeah. As soon as I get my gear, well. Be careful. Yeah, he just spoke up. Come no on. way are you fit for duty, sir. You need a chance to mend. Yeah, says who? <laughs> the Pathfinder. Yeah, let's go with that one. <laughs> the Pathfinder. That's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. <sighs> Pulling rank already. Better hope I never tell anyone about that year you only ate paste. <laughs> Was it first grade or second? Yeah, you will have to adjust, I you guess. You can keep talking if you'd like. Just no arm wrestling. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Will okay. do. Speak with Sam in Seminode about an unlocked memory. Oh, oh. So that will be the last one, right? Discuss your options with the other Pathfinders. And I think I can talk to Scott Ryder now. Good. Yeah, let's let's talk to him. Hey. You feeling out of the loop, I imagine? Mm. A little. Though I've heard bits and pieces of things from Harry and the med techs. Sounds pretty serious. <laughs> Just the fate of the universe. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that one. <laughs> Just the fate of the entire initiative. Every man, woman, child, and everything in between facing certain extinction. The usual. Oh. Well, I'm sure the Pathfinder manual covers that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll have it wrapped by lunch. There's a race of aliens called the Cat. They're led by a scary nutjob named Archon who wants to turn all of us into them. We both want Meridian, which is the heart of an alien terraforming network trying to activate. We do that, maybe we live. Look at my big sister being all proactive. Maybe. Meanwhile, I'm mastering the art of peeing in a plastic jar. Okay, so we can talk a little bit more. Uh, yeah, let's start with the Milky Way, probably. Feeling homesick at all? Still trying to get my sea legs, but I think about what might have been if everything hadn't gotten screwed up. I am not fond of this perspective because you basically see just a tiny portion of his face somewhere at the bottom of the screen, otherwise you are staring at the walls. So this is something that I've pointed out already before. The camera angles which are fixed in dialogues are just awful. Yeah. Screwed up how? We start with mom dying. I never cried so hard. And dad? He was never the same after that. He put so much into Sam to save her, but... Well, AI's as illegal as it gets in the Milky Way. After the Alliance kicked him out for it, everything changed. Suddenly, being Alec Ryder's kid was a black mark. Mm. You and I were never going to live that down. What do you think would be different? Well, while you were looking for Prothean artifacts, I was standing watch over a Mass Effect relay. Hell of a thing to stare at every day. I'd dream about what was on the other side. The adventures I would have. The things I would accomplish. But when everything got screwed up, well, I guess I'll never know. Yeah, but you are in a completely different galaxy now. You should enjoy that adventure. Can we talk about our parents and that was keeping secrets? Yeah, let's I thought maybe talk we could about talk the about parents. Mom and Dad. Sure. 
What about them? Mm. Yeah, I think we need to address uh, the father's death. Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I was going to ask you. Habitat 7. There was this alien terraforming machine that had us stranded. Dad figured it out and shut it down. That saved us our ass. Then, all oh, hell broke loose. My helmet got smashed. I couldn't breathe. I was suffocating. Then Dad gave me his helmet. He sacrificed himself? I guess he cared after all of come on. Of course he did. Only one of us could make it, and he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. All those stories about him being an N7, kicking ass in the military. I always thought they were exaggerating. <laughs> you should have seen him in action, taking out Ket left and right. It was amazing. Huh. Dad, the badass one-man army. Pretty good way to remember him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, let's go with Do You Miss Mom. You still think about Mom? Yeah. Especially now. I wonder what she'd say if she could see us. Dad talked about her before we went on our first mission. Really? After she died, Dad seemed to shut down. He hadn't talked about her in years. He loved her. I think he was just lost. We all were. <laughs> what do you remember about how they met? Well, she was in the Alliance, researching early biotic implants. That's about the time she met Dad. He was on Earth for N7 training, I think. He says he swooped in and swept her off her feet. Had a whole bad boy in uniform vibe that was irresistible. <laughs> Dad? I guess it worked. They got married. Then the first contact war started, and he was sent off to fight. After that, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. Yeah, we have more questions. That's good. So we get a little bit more info on the background. What do you remember about mom's biotic research? Mostly that it's the thing that finally killed her. Mm. Biotics were an unknown back then. So were the dangers. All sorts of rare diseases hit people working around Ezo. Mom was trying to design implants to help people harness their abilities. She was a pioneer. And she actually gave it to him. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Big space station chock full of all sorts of aliens. Scary at first, but pretty soon I was playing laser tag with Turian and Solarian kids. Looking back <laughs> on it, maybe that's why I'm here. The Citadel showed me life has no limit on possibilities. It made me ask, what else is out there? Hmm. Yeah, uh, must have been an interesting childhood on the station there. Um, do we have other questions? Oh yeah, Dad was keeping secrets. You should also know, Dad was keeping some secrets from us. Like what? Turns out Sam is even smarter than anyone knew. And Dad juiced his connection to Sam. It's a lot more powerful than other Pathfinders. So is mine. I guess rank has its privileges. What was Dad up to? I've seen his memories. Dad encrypted some of his memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You and I were there. So was Mom. You actually saw her? It was at the hospital the day she died. And that reunion dinner she wanted us at so badly. Right. Dad was his usual talkative self. But there was something else. I saw Dad talk with a benefactor in the Milky Way. Some initiative bigwig I'd never heard of. That's news to me. Yeah, I'm still hoping I can figure out what it all means. Yeah, they're trying to talk very quietly, although the doctor is standing right there <laughs> and hearing every single word they are saying. Okay, that's all for now, well, I guess. I'll let you take it easy then. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how slammed I am. Got a nap, then doze a bit, then try to catch up on sleep. It'll get better. Now before you find that meridian. I want in. <laughs> I'll take pictures. <laughs> okay. Let me try to talk to the doctor if there is something new that he says. Ugh. I have to go around this thing. 
I'm glad to see you and your brother back together finally. Yeah, let's ask about the prognosis. Now that he's awake, what's the prognosis? Everything looks good. Scott's a fighter. His recovery had more to do with that than anything I did. Though we need to keep him around for observation, give him time to recover. All right. Good. Yeah, nothing else that we could ask. Okay. That's all, Harry. Thanks. I'll be here if you need me. So, what else do we have? I think we need to talk to Sam. Let me check the journal. Yeah, speak with Sam in Sam Note about an unlocked memory because we couldn't unlock this one. I think it's the last one that was locked previously. Yeah, basically that's it. Okay, so let me go to the Sam Note. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Good. <laughs> was waiting for that one. <laughs> Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. Again? What was it Jean Garson said? The code word is fulcrum? That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. Cast is Vicarian, okay. My son, yeah. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle, an extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And then Seven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, mm -hmm. Castus. Take care. Yes. Yeah. So, they were wondering... Hey, check it around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. Mm -hmm. We should accelerate our timetable. They will keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? It's a good strategy. Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. <laughs> okay, wait. Hey. So Ma she's here? Transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. <sighs> There's still hope for your mother. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean she's not Mom dead? Is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. Oh. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. Um. This is amazing news. He should have told us. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, he should have told us, but. Okay, does that info help us now? I mean, we don't have a cure, no? So waking her up would be nonsense. Keeping her in stasis would make more sense than... But, uh, yeah, she's alive. Okay. This should never have been kept secret. Your father didn't want to raise false hopes. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder, to see the process through. Where's mom now? 
here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name, Elizabeth Riley. Mm, yeah, that's plan. So this was Dad's plan. Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Scott could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alex's quarters. Yeah, but we don't know that much about the Benefactor, right? Hmm. Now we know what Gian Garson meant. That something big spooked the Benefactor. It was yeah. these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reapers' return was imminent. Hmm... Is the Milky Way okay? That was over 600 years ago. Yeah. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional logs in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information should anything happen to him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Doesn't answer the question, but let's check it out then and... But why was Gian Garson murdered? Yeah. Recall Garson's words about the benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good, but I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was or is the benefactor? Unknown. A group of very rich people, that's my guess, who probably are also sitting on the Hyperion. Maybe. Hmm. An interesting thought. Good. L let's go for Got these. I need to go find mom. Unlocked memories. Meet with your brother at your mother's stasis spot in Hyperion Cryo Bay. But why would you do that? You don't have a cure. Why would you, like, meet there? I. I. I ah. Okay, that doesn't make sense for the moment. Good. Let's go and check out the. Unlocked memories here. Your father's personal logs. Milky Way emergency. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186. Everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. So was our mysterious benefactor. Okay. Yeah, benefactor, come on. Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor and the fact that we still don't know who they are and all these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. Okay, message to Gian Garson. Gian, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way. Well, something terrible happened there. At least the benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. Yeah, the Milky Way is just fine. <laughs> at least in my playthrough. <laughs> Alright, yeah, but they couldn't have known that if... Uh basically so much probably was lost during the 
war with the Reapers that nobody even knew that there were these arcs leaving for Andromeda. Yeah, I'm still wondering about that benefactor. More questions than answers. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primark Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down! Yeah, forgot that noise. Alliance SOS, okay. Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Sol system. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My god son. Mm-hmm. Liara Tissoni's transmission, that one makes me curious. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tissoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arcs made it out of the Milky Way, but the worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but I fear that the civilization you remember, the people of the Milky Way as you knew them, could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please, don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tissoni, signing off. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure what you're talking about. My shepherd has a nice apartment on the citadel and everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, well, they had to rebuild quite a bit, but aside from that... Alright. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. Yeah, that's true, and you have other problems right now here in Andromeda. Good, so that was it. Meet with your brother at your mother's stasis spot. I, 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 I still don't know why we would wake her up if the stasis spot was basically delaying her dying and keeping her alive so far. And we don't have a cure, why would we wake her up? Okay, so at the very end of the room. There you are. What's all this about? Okay, this is the pod you told me about. Who's Elizabeth Riley? Yeah, it's mom. I could have milked this a little, but... This is mom. What? I saw dad's last memory. He brought her. E.R. isn't Elizabeth Riley. It's Ellen Ryder. I don't... How... Wow, how is this possible? Yeah, dad never gave up. Dad I loved her that much. He guess wouldn't that give was up. his plan. Not even at the bitter end. For a man not given to rash action. His emotion drove his decisions in the end. This is incredible. So dad being a pain in the ass finally paid off. I want to shake his hand and then punch him. Why didn't he tell us? I said the same thing, but does it really matter? She's still with us. Well, let's get her out of there. That's inadvisable. Why? Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease. Which exactly. Yeah, then let's cure her. Come on, we need to do Can't something we cure about her, it. Sam, it's been 600 years. That was your father's plan. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information mm. that could lead to a cure. 
but patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive, and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. Okay. Yeah, good. That makes sense now, because I would wonder if they would just simply wake her up. That would just make no sense. Okay. Yeah, keep her safe. Just make sure she stays safe, Sam. We lost her once. We're not losing her again. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill. Together. Okay, so... They have lost their dad, but they have their mom back. That's nice. Good, let's check the journal again. And we only have the priority ops. Discuss your options with the other pathfinders. So let me toggle that one. And this is it for today. I hope you had fun watching. Please don't hesitate to leave me a comment and any advice or suggestions for this first time playthrough. It would be all much appreciated. The next part of this series will appear here once the new video is published. And until then, thank you very much. Stay tuned and game on.